Welcome back to the player career mode. We're in phenomenal form. So kind of waiting for it to end terribly at the moment. But the run of form has been superb of late. You can see the fixtures we have coming today. Brentford, Valencia and Brighton uh, in that order. Both Premier League games at home and the, a cheeky chip to Spain in between. We've not lost a game since we annoyingly lost to Wolves at the uh, beginning of January. And prior to that, we're in decent form as well. So actually... We're kind of hoping to continue what has been a, a, a march towards the top end of the table. We're up to sixth, but we're only two points off fourth and three points. Actually, no, two points off third and only six points off top with still 15 games to go in the Premier League season. Don't get carried away, but it could happen. It could happen. My player agent is saying that the negotiation period is now open. So we're in a position where actually... Going to need to try and finalise some wages. At the minute, I can get a, a contract from Liverpool, which is good. I'm, I'm not going to worry about wages. They'll offer me what they offer me. It's not really here nor there, is it? But I do need to get the shots on target. Although, I'm not sure I'd want to go to Monaco anyway. But I do need the shots on target for Inter and to maintain my uh, contract here at Tottenham. We would also need to get hat-tricks too, but we can artificially do that as you guys have mentioned in the comment section a few times by just kind of creating two different save files and then making sure I get two at tricks in the final two games by dropping it to beginner or something and making sure that we have the contract offer so we can add it to the list. So thank you as ever for your support in the comment section down below and on stream two. Today we're saying thank you to Wayne, we're saying thank you to Leone, and we're saying thank you to you. So for your continued support, be that on YouTube, on either the Chesnoid Plays channel, the Chesnoid Gaming channel, or the Chesnoid Live channel, or on... Uh, the, uh, the Twitch stream as well at uh, Chesnoy Gaming over there. Right. Oh, that's a hell of a kit for Brentford. I don't know as I've even seen them play in that in real life. We are at full strength, I believe. Indeed we are. A full strength Tottenham should be a full strength Brentford, shouldn't it? Drop the video a like if you're enjoying the content and glad to see it back. I'm glad to be back at work as well. Thoroughly enjoying throwing myself back into making FC content and hopefully F Football Manager and Formula One it won't be too far away either. But for now... Let's concentrate on the task at hand and closing that gap. Two goal involvements boosted to three. Dribble success rate is the more achievable. I'd love that many goal involvements. Two or three would be great here at home. So very much anticipating a victory. But Brentford evidently with some decent players. Ruben Neves and Thiago Almada, the first two that have been in control of the ball here in the opening stages. And out to Celic at left back and then Martinez and Declan Rice. Okay, Brentford's team is actually a bit better than I thought it was going to be. Slightly concerned that actually this isn't going to be as straightforward a game as we hoped it might be. Correa, Dedic, Ayer, it is Lissandra Martinez and Jelic. Declan Rice, Almada, Ruben Neves, Scherder, Keane, Lewis Potter. Okay. And just actually for full clarity, who have they got on the bench? They've got Pacheco. Daniel Vivian, Marquinhos, Joao Pedro, Kim Ji Su, Jan Kuto with his pink hair, and Nathan Young Coombs. It's a beatable team, especially with the 11 that we have, but their midfield is significantly better than ours, and that's the one area where we desperately need some improvements in this squad. Hopefully, we don't get overrun. Smith Rowe to me. And through there is Docker. It's a brilliant flick to Gore, who's come the closest of anyone so far. Out to Vanderson to Gore again. He could go for go for goal a second time. Or oh, if it had gone to ground there, we might have actually found ourselves getting a penalty. Bissouma into Gore again. He's been heavily involved in everything so far. I'm going to make the run through this gap hit. And Doyle finds Bissouma. Bissouma to me. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Look for support. I think it's probably the right answer in that situation. Bissouma. Dan Gore again. I'll tell him to shoot. He will. And he can't quite squeeze it in at the near post. The keeper makes the save again. And Gore, so far, cannot find a way f past their uh, number one. But he's giving it a hell of an effort. Lovely ball by Dedic to Almada. Option square, which he's probably going to need to use. Fafana marshalling him well, getting him out away from danger. But now Dedic is back in the danger zone. Averna makes the save. We needed the defender there to make the secondary clearance. Otherwise, it would have been a tap-in. Declan Rice. Can hit them from range. Oh, it's a lovely dummy. It's a good save, but... Really well put together. Yellow card coming in here for Moise Keane. I really know what for. That's what for. That was terrible. A striker's challenge certainly is the phrase, isn't it? Corner delivered in and cleared away. I'm just going to try and nod this down towards 
Daisy, Doku will be swimming. It is Doku. Give it back to me. Can I get beyond the defender? Well, yes, but not before Declan Rice has unceremoniously put in a cynical challenge to ensure that we don't have a counter-attack. That's yellow card worthy, as far as I'm concerned, but the referee electing not to give one on this occasion. Vanderson and Doku linking up well. This is really good play, and it's in to me. And it's 1-0 to Spurs. That's brilliant. We've had some really, really good... You're welcome. Some really, really good team moves in the past couple of episodes since we brought content back, and that's continuing here. That was another excellent full team move to see us bury the ball in the back of the net. My goal-scoring run continues. That's a great ball. Smith Rowe. Options inside. Here's Shillow. Drop back a bit here. Look for the first time shot, but it's side netting only on the left-hand side. 67th minute. Change is being made now. Gore off and Jordinho presumably on. Indeed it is. Shared it off for them. And didn't quite glance to see who it was. It was Joao Pedro coming on for Brentford. Lenormand. It's a, it's a dummy. It's a nice idea. But it's not worked. And Brentford might steal a point back here. Declan Rice. Into the danger area. That's a very important interception by Fafana. And I'm glad he did step in there because it ensures that my 45th minute goal gives us all three points again. The winning run continues. The scoring run continues. Now, can we do it in Europe as well as in the Premier League? Man of match goal winning performance and dropped to the bench because just EA things. But of course, the game against Valencia is just in three days time. So luckily... We have the opportunity to train, get ourselves back into the starting lineup, and we shall head back to Spain, which used to be our hunting ground, a successful hunting ground for us as well. We need to go and get a win against Valencia in the first leg of the round of 16 of the Champions League to set us up in a good position to continue on in that competition as well. There's still the outside chance of a treble this season, but even just thinking about it probably ensures that it doesn't happen. But if we can go as far as possible in the Champions League, we stand a really good chance of doing something in the FA Cup and who knows what's going to happen in the Prem. For now, though, we'll concentrate on international... Well, international? Continental competition here. Dribble success rate of 30%. Get an assist, we'll try and do. But win is an absolute must for me here today in the snow in the south of Spain. Such an impressive ground, the Mastaya. Soon to be replaced, of course. But whilst it remains, we shall enjoy playing here. Down the line, well, cross into the middle could come, cross into the middle should come, cross into the middle doesn't come, but still they have possession, and now they're giving it away. Don't give it to me yet, Jeremy, 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 keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, now. Little scoop turn, into the box, slam it the near post! 99% of the time I go across goal in those situations, try to do something a little bit different, didn't work. Corner from the far side. Might be one in the middle. It's flicked away by the defender. Still danger, though. I'm going to drift out here. Then take the first touch back inside. But Gomez was well positioned to deny me. But still, we could have a chance. Shillow. Smith Rowe. Mm, still maybe. No, it has finally broken away from the defensive position for Valencia. And now, actually, on a counter-attack, we might be in trouble going the other way. As well, Gomez, this is getting a little bit end-to-end, -end, isn't it, here? Malero into Colpani, given straight to Vanderson, given straight back to Colpani. All right, sweet. 20 minutes in, it's quite the entertaining game so far, although neither goalkeeper really tested that much. Oh, Christ, don't even know what that was. Lovely flip around the corner, though. Vanderson's ball was absurd, really. Doku's still on the way. I'll tell him to go for goal. Why not? Oh, good save by the keeper. Did ask for an assist from me in the objectives, I believe, and I very nearly got one there. Well, they put themselves under pressure here at the back, Valencia, but they've dealt with it well enough. Great breakaway. Just a shame we couldn't find the finish. Nice ball to me. Good footwork as well to work the space. We'll take the advantage and play on. Doki with loads of options in the box. Works a corner for us. Let's see if we can get something from the set piece. Try and disappear from the man that's with me there. Because it's more than likely going to come here. Well, it's on target. But it was never going to go in, was it? Gomez, Flavic, and into Colpani. Colpani still dangerous, but saved well by the keeper. Making a change there, Diacabi going off for Barella. That's quite the substitution to be able to make. Rain has actually picked up an injury for them as well. 
So they might be making even more changes sooner rather than later. Salamakas to Barella here. And he very nearly comes on with instant impact. Trying to set up Dusan Flavic for the goal. But Dusan slices it wide. I've had to come short to get involved. But we are getting involved. Nice turn by Jordinio. Smithrow got the full back in front of him. And me inside. Pissouma's there. Here's Gore. And go to Jordinho. And we're in. Jordinho! I don't know what's changed since before Jude was born. But since coming back to work, the whole team seemed to be actually pretty bloody good at Tottenham. Out of nowhere. I was the sole man carrying the team for ages. Harry Kane style. And now everyone's at it. Jordinho buries off the bench. And we take a 1-0 lead in this first leg in the Champions League. And it's a deserved one too. Flavic. Nice tackle. Having to work hard. I think I just spat out. They're going to equalise, aren't they? Oh, no. It's a terrible effort. Salamaka has, has got to do better with that. It fell beautifully to him. And he really should have done much, much more with it. That had to be 1-1, really. They haven't created as good an opportunity as that all game. And they probably won't for the rest of the entire double leg tie. Barella trying to force the issue now. A little bit of frustration seeping into the Valencia lineup. So much so that they're losing track of where they are on the pitch and catching themselves offside. Ten to go. Nice. Gonna get in there, Doku. Oh, tried to play it in between the defenders. Couldn't quite get the angle right. And with seconds to go now, is my loss of possession going to cost us our lead? No. Cleared away. Well, I don't get a great overall match performance and match rating, but the team get the win. It is a win that we deserve. We certainly were the better side there, but only the one goal to nil is probably the right scoreline, to be fair. We'll head back to the game against Brighton. Try and keep that winning run going yet again, but my personal scoring run is now at an end. Drop to the bench again after that performance. Not necessarily deserved, but certainly it wasn't a great performance from myself. But again, we'll be able to get ourselves into the starting lineup because the game against Brighton comes quickly around the corner. We will, however, need to perform this time because I will not have the opportunity to get myself back in the starting lineup after uh, this next fixture. Praise the team spirit as continually it is my teammates that make the difference here. Uh, yeah, still no sign of a fourth club in the recommendations at the moment. So I'm surprised that so few sides are interested in us at this stage of the season. We're what, into March now? Very nearly into March. We'll be after this game. Busy month, March actually, and probably busier still if we get through in the FA Cup and in the Champions League as well, which we'd certainly like to do in both competitions. All right, four passes in the opponent's half, a goal from outside the box. We know how unlikely that is. And again, an 8.5 required. 8.5 is doable, provided I can Grab a goal or an assist, and hopefully we will do exactly that. Maybe both in this game here against Brighton and Hove Albion. We are up to fifth in the table, and now just one point off third. And if we can get victory here, we go a long way to get ourselves into the top four, but I'm going to have to do better than that. It's Victor Gomez down the wing. A little flick back, and Moran. I mean, Adley, tackled by Fofana. It'll be a corner for Brighton, though. The opportunity, the chance to get themselves... A 1-0 advantage. We only just were able to get the victory against Valencia to keep the winning run going. But we had two streaks on going. Winning run and my goal scoring. One of them is now gone. So I didn't score against Valencia. But fingers crossed we can keep the winning run going at the very least. Even if I'm not scoring. As long as someone is and we're getting wins. Then we don't really care that much I suppose. Not necessarily about me at the moment. It's about the team getting ourselves where we want to be. Just so I can be as instrumental as I can in that process by bagging the goals. But we've kind of already done what we need to to improve to be a, a good enough player to warrant getting the moves we feel like we're good enough to get. Now it's just about utilising the quality, quality of teammate we're going to be playing with to ensure that we get the trophies as well. Previously, it was all about me as we were building a name for ourselves in our career. Oh, good save by Vlacodimos. But now, it's about just getting the trophies. We've w worked our way up. Now we just want to win things. 
We've already proven ourselves at multiple different levels, at multiple different clubs in multiple different nations. The normal. Nicely forward. Nice. Out wide again. Vanderson's still there. Doku could come back to me again. And he has done. And I've got the teammate in the middle. If I can just tuck this back to him. It's Doyle. It's blocked by Medina. It's out for a corner. No goal yet for Tottenham. Despite a couple of efforts now. Where's this one going to end up? Potentially on my head. I am free-ish. Gouveia gets the ball away. Lenormand brings it down and loses it to Andrew Moore. And never mind. Half an hour in. It's still nil-nil. Had to battle very hard to get the win against Valencia. Looks like this is going to be something similar. Sergio. Adley. Moran. Pras. Adley in the way. Now wide. Doc is going to go. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Oh. I just bit my tongue. Concentrate on what I was doing. Couldn't concentrate well enough to score the goal. Keeper makes the stop. Vlacodimos in good form so far today. That's not going to make it to me. Will make it to Gore, though. And he's found Doyle. And Doyle's in! Brighton are defending for their lives here. I'm not sure which defender it was that came across, but it's an excellent block off the instep of the knee. Gouveia with another corner to try and defend here. It's flicked on, it's flicked away, it will fall, it will fall! Someone stop Vlacodimos! How's that one not gone in? Doku surely had to turn that away from there. On his left foot, I guess. He's absolutely fluffed it. Put a lot of shot power behind it and surely it goes in. The header might. Yes! At last the pressure pays! Took another good save from Vlacodimos. But it falls kindly for Robin Lenormand. The man that followed us from Austria to come to England. Bags the goal to give us the lead. Another good save. Doku with a header. Tipped away. And Robin, right place, right time. And he only just managed to squeeze it into that near post. He very nearly missed it. Oh, by inches. More and little back heel, Gouveia. Nice block by Fafana. Shillo. Smithrow quickly to me. It's going to go again, Smithrow. He's not quite quick enough to get to that, though. It's a bad pass for me. That's a good tackle for me, though. And we are away. Not very quick, but can we add a second goal to the game? Yes, we can. Beautifully tucked away right now. This should be the baby swing. Hey! Celebrations all round. Tottenham 2, Brighton 0. And the quality of finish actually was quite good there. It needed to be to beat Vlacodimos, who's been in sensational form in this game so far. Not rapid to get away, but fast enough. And then tidily tucked away. Tottenham 2, we're back on the score sheet again. That one's for you, Jude. Oh, it's loose from Leslie and Gore stepped in. It's coming to me, is it? All right. Doc, you have it then. That was where it was going to go initially. Gore to me. Tuck it back. Assist perhaps. Someone stop Vlacodimos. This could have been a cricket scoreline if it weren't for the Greek in between the sticks. It's 2-0. It could be 10. But he really is on a mission today. They might be losing heavily here. Well, not losing heavily. but They could have been losing heavily here. And the reason they're not. The man between the sticks with a man of the match performance despite the fact that they're trailing in the game. Gore. Doyle. Oh, how's he done that then? Doyle! 3-0 Spurs. We are marching on towards the top four in a potential Premier League title fight. This season has well and truly come alive now. Medina. And Zeschiel. Nice ball down the line to Pras. Pras back to Diego. And Medina again looking for a consolation. Leslie Ugatuk, who was pretty decent for us at Chelsea earlier this year. But not able to make an influence on this fixture, unfortunately, for him and his team this time around. We made an impact on this game, grabbing the second of three. Lenormand, myself and Doyle. That is the best win of the day. Another man of the match performance and this time not dropped to the bench. You can see from the player growth that we should be level 43 in the next episode. So fingers crossed we'll be able to get ourselves back towards the 88 rated level that we were at previously. Scout bonus is active apparently at the moment with regards to my contracts. Still no fourth team though. Shots on target are coming. 
Although, I need nine more only, actually, for Inter now, which is great. We will get that contract offer. Still need another 30 shots on target for Tottenham. Could I have to actually go out of my way, I think, to smash those? But, again, we could do that via the... Uh, the games where we kind of artificially get ourselves the hat-trick. But hopefully we've got enough games left this season to have another 30 shots on target, especially if we're going to progress in the Champions League and the FA Cup all the way towards the latter stages of each competition. Where are we now in the Premier League, though? That's the question. Into the top four. And a single point off second. Still, United have a game in hand. So the gap that is currently four could be seven. But... I mean, to be fair, with Newcastle, well, Palace at least, with a game in hand as well below us, we might actually not be top four for much longer. Let's advance towards that game against Nottingham Forest just to see what happens. Does anything change in the Premier League table? Let's have a look very close, even closer now still to a level 43. Actually, no, I don't think that might be the same. It just kind of flashed for no apparent reason other than my wage is going up. Yeah, Newcastle. Well, actually, now, no. Crystal Palace drew. Newcastle have won both their games in hand and go above us now but we then still have a game in hand on them and notice at the top Man United have now played a game more and the gap is still only five points so they drew one and lost one if we win on match day 26 against Nottingham Forest we will be at most two points off top I might be getting a little bit more excited about the way that this Tottenham Hotspur season could potentially end. Aren't you? Oh, dearie me. No one saw this coming halfway through the season. But, oh, what an end to the year we could have. And there is now a fourth club. I'm not going to go to Jingdao Hainu. If I'm completely honest, sorry. That was a bit of a... <laughs> that was a bit of an underwhelming development, wasn't it? Never mind. Join me tomorrow for the next episode where, fingers crossed, we can put... Is it cup? Both cup games? No. Fingers crossed we can progress in the FA Cup, get wins in two away games in the Premier League, and absolutely, we could potentially be top of the Premier League by the end of the episode tomorrow at the end of the week. Unbelievable. Jeff. I'll see you later.